Yes, it does. Thank you. All right. So in this example, now again, guys, I want my triangle to look like this. Angle, side, side. Correct? That's how I want it. That's how I understand. That's how my diagrams are written. You don't have to do it this way, but to me, if I'm going to be constantly drawing different triangles, it's going to get confusing real quick. So therefore, if I want this to be angle side side like this, therefore, I'm going to make this now my B. So therefore, that's 81 degrees. This is going to be 16, and this is going to be 14. Yes? Will the angle that's given ever be obtuse in this situation? Yeah. Will you get to that? Mm -hmm. All right. So here we have an example here. Um, so now, again, we just need to figure out our height. Now again, if we created our height here, what would our h be in this example? Follow the form. Don't, don't care about the variables. Just follow the numbers. 14 times sine of 81. Opposite, opposite over hypotenuse. Opposite hypotenuse. Opposite hypotenuse. Right? Does that make sense? Does it make sense? If you're talking across the room, it probably won't make sense. So now let's go ahead and figure this out. Uh, Why do I keep on leaving? Yes? Oh, perfect. H equals what? 13.6 meters. 8, 2, 6. 7, 6? OK, well, that means that'd be 8. Okay. Round 10 years, 1,000. I'm sorry. Now, OK, let's go and look at our rules, guys. Excuse me. Let's finish this. So if we have h here, h is um, I'm sorry, is our opposite side, is this side, right? This is the side we're comparing. <coughs> is that larger than our height? Yes, so a triangle does exist, right? Now, again, if it's larger than this, then there's only one triangle. If it's less than that, then it's two triangles. And obviously, is 16 going to be, is obviously 16, since 16 is larger than 14, we know that there's one triangle. No. I think if you do enough of these examples, you'll, they'll pretty much make clear. Are you going to give us 